Assalamu alaikum. Peace and blessings of God be on to all of us. First, I'd like to welcome all of us on behalf of the Faith of Life Network for being here for this great cause in support of the Muslim Friends of Osla to raise $1 million. Uh, I'd like to call upon our Imam, Dr. Hamid Slimi, uh, to come forward, please. Dr. Slimi is the president and founding member of the Faith of Life Network. Faith of Life Network is a national charitable Muslim organization which promotes the positive values of Islam in Canada and around the world by building communities through shared religious observances, quality educational programs, mutual support and network and service to humanity. Imam is a resident scholar and founder of the Saida Khadija Center of Mississauga. He has been serving as an Imam, chaplain, educator and consultant in Canada for over 15 years in different religious educational institutes. He is also the current chairman of the Canadian Councils of Imams, lecturer at the Islamic Institute of Toronto, consultant on national and international issues related to religious and spirituality, Islam and Islamic law, religious dialogue and social issues, board member of different interfaith communities, bodies and groups, TV host and producer of the Fate of Life television shows and documents, Dr. Hamid Slimi. First, we'd like to show the video for the Muslim Friends of Osla. Muslim Friends of Osla is an initiative that started from William Osler Health System Foundation's South Asian Roundtable through the vision of founding members of the Roundtable's Canadian Muslim Subcommittee. Members made up of individuals primarily of Muslim faith from varying professional backgrounds were appointed to obtain and channel support from Muslim professionals residing or working within the Osler environs of the Northwest Greater Toronto Area. Dr. Slimmy became well acquainted with Muslim Friends of Osler when he presented a donation on behalf of Faith of Life Network to William Osler Health System Foundation. Inspired to support community health care, he joined Muslim Friends of Osler as a member of their committee. Dr. Slimmy explains the importance of donating. One of the things that are fundamental is saving life, and the Quran says, whoever saves one life, it'll be considered as if he or she saved the entire mankind. Being part of Friends of Osler is a great, noble privilege for us to be part of this great effort to raise one million dollars. We should all donate generously without even thinking about it twice. Donate, we have committed ourselves as an organization to donate every year a certain amount of money to make a difference in people's lives, in our lives. As the group reached past the halfway mark of its commitment, 100 supporters gathered in the auditorium at Brampton Civic Hospital to celebrate the success of the campaign. The event showcased plaques naming the fundraising group's leadership level donors and unveiled a very special outdoor commemorative piece of artwork at Brampton Civic Hospital entitled Coexist. As a tribute, the sign marries the celebration of tolerance within the Muslim heritage to Osler's inclusiveness of diversity in cultural beliefs experiences and abilities in all clinical and administrative practices. Diversity informs not only what services are available at Osler, but also how care is provided. William Osler Health System is a part of the Central West Local Health Integration Network, and its mission is to provide safe and compassionate care to the 1.3 million people who live in the growing and diverse communities of Brampton, Etobicoke, Malton, and beyond. 
Osler, one of Canada's largest community hospitals, includes three hospital sites. Etobicoke General Hospital is a traditional community hospital providing all aspects of care. Peel Memorial Center for Integrated Health and Wellness is targeted to open in 2015. And Brampton Civic Hospital, Osler's newest hospital, opened in autumn 2007 and continues to evolve and expand as community needs grow. The Muslim Friends of Osler volunteer their time and knowledge to assist Osler Foundation with critically needed fundraising in the community. Dr. Dawood, a founding member and past chair for the Muslim Friends of Osler, is a generous and passionate supporter of Osler. The committee committed to raise $1 million. We are part of the Canadian fabric. We are part of the Canadian community. We should be seen to be supporting this. I implore you to give generously to this noble cause. Described as a campaign for improvement and innovation, the contributions of Muslim friends have helped to expand and advance health care for the communities of Brampton, Etobicoke and beyond. Donor support helps to fund building, education, research, patient care programs and equipment at Osler's hospitals. At William Osler Health System, our community is not only our patients, but they are also our partners. It is through that partnership and their generous donations that we were able to purchase two vital pieces of equipment for our Brampton Civic Hospital Emergency Department and our Etobicoke General Hospital Emergency Department. Thank you very much to our Muslim community for this very generous support. Now, emergency physicians at both sites have access to new glidoscope instruments. These devices enable clear, real-time view of the patient's airway enabling quick intubation. As a physician at Osler, a member of Muslim Friends of Osler and a strong supporter of the foundation, Dr. Muhammad is truly in a position to see his philanthropy at work. When our community invests in our hospitals, they're not only investing in their health care, they're also investing in our frontline professionals. Emergency physicians and nurses possess a specialized skill set that they utilize in life-threatening situations. Every second counts. Having state-of-the-art equipment made possible by our community donations can mean the difference between life and death. For more information on how to get involved with William Osler Health System Foundation and the Muslim Friends of Osler campaign, contact Colette Thompson at 905-494-2120, extension 50158 or visit the Osler Foundation website at oslerfoundation.org or call 1-888-2-OSLER, that is 1-888-866-7537. We know in our tradition, when we built mosques, the next thing was to build orphanages and hospitals and schools. They were always next to the mosques. It's a tradition in the waqf system, in the endowment system. And alhamdulillah, I cannot thank you more for being here tonight with us. You have proven that we, the Muslim community, coming from different countries, over 50, 50 different ethnic and, and uh, uh, linguistic groups and we are uh, all united for this cause because we believe in saving human life as the Quran says Woman and whoever saves a life it will be tantamount to saving all humanity this is what uh, caregivers nurses and doctors and hospitals do every day and we have experienced at least once in our lifetime 
uh, going to the hospital and receiving care. We do have sometimes different experiences, but what matters the most, uh, and as our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, told us, Prophet peace be upon him, when you ask God, if you don't feel like, don't get that um, inspiration, sometimes we have, we're inspired to do certain prayer. He said, if you don't say anything, Ask God pardon or forgiveness and good health. Good health is very important. So uh, preserving the health, preserving human life is one of the necessities that Islam focuses on. And uh, taking part in this work and contributing with whatever means, even by purchasing a ticket and being here tonight, is going to be something great in the eyes of Allah, of God Almighty, and you will be rewarded immensely. The Quran speaks of piety. Piety is not only facing east and west, but also piety is giving shelter, helping the poor, carrying the load of the feeble, those who are sick, attending them. This is piety. And also being patient, being forgiven. So the Quran focuses on the acts and what we do every day, prayer and fasting and all of these things that us, that's only for us. But the actions that are more rewarded are the actions where we uh, make a difference in someone's life. No wonder why zakat or charity, sadaqah, is rewarded not 10 times, but 700 and more. Wallahu yudha'ifu liman yasha'. And God multiplies for charity the rewards. When you pray, your prayer is 10 times. When you fast one day, it will be considered like fasting 10 days. But when you give charity, it will be multifold. It will be 700 times or more. So this is why we believe in charity. Allah says, Aqimu salata wa atu zakah. Pray and give charity. And alhamdulillah, this is not the first time. I would like also to take the opportunity to thank the Aladdin family for finishing their donation to St. Joseph Hospital, $150,000. And really, this is, I'm very proud for these members, active members in our community who committed. There are other families who have donated to other hospitals. As I'm speaking, the Islamic Foundation of Toronto in the East End is raising $100,000 today and tomorrow for the Scar Scarborough General Hospital. And the uh, ICNA uh, had the last week walkathon to raise money for Credit Valley Hospital. So it's something that is becoming part of our agenda as Muslims is to, we, we were struggling building our mosques. Our organization is still struggling to pay off the debts, but we believe these things have to go in parallel. We can't wait until we pay off our buildings and then do these things. This is a must do think it has to be one of our priorities so inshallah this evening we will hear many speakers and i will come back later uh, uh, and i will of course uh, just mention a few things later and some of our achievements but not to take too much time uh, the muslim friends of osler board is here so uh, i'll ask uh, rihana to introduce the representatives of uh, muslim friends of osler I'd like to call on Dr. Naveed Mohammed. He's the uh, Corporate Chief of Emergency Medicine at the William Osler Health System. And Dr. Farooq Dawood. Uh, Dr. Dawood has been involved with William Osler for over 10 years, uh, including the chairman of the board at William Osler. And he's, uh, he was also the inaugural chair of the Muslim Friends of Osler. Dr. Mohammed and Dr. Dawood. Uh, I'm the Corporate Chief of Emergency Medicine for William Oslo Health Center uh, for both the Toboco General and uh, uh, Brampton Civic Hospital. Uh, one of the things that happens often at uh, Muslim Friends of Oslo and at other gatherings that are organized is that everybody wants to hear about the emergency department because that's where everybody goes and that's where everybody waits a long time. Uh, I have a question 
Do you guys know where the busiest emergency department in Canada is? Which hospital in Canada has the busiest emergency department? Does anybody know that? That's right, Brampton Civic Hospital. The numbers that were in the video of 172,000 visits uh, at William Osler Health Center uh, are already outdated because of the rate that our visits are increasing by. What if I told you guys that we can see 207 patients a day in a 24-hour period? Would that sound like a lot? 207 sick people a day. That's how many we saw on October 27th, 2007, the day uh, that the hospital opened. It was the first day, it was one of our busiest days, we saw 200 and, actually it was 217. Last Monday on Family Day, we saw 407 people in 24 hours. So in a little less than five years, we have basically doubled the volumes that come through Brampton Civic Hospital. And the good news about this is that as our visits are going up, our wait times are coming down. Uh, Etobicoke General Hospital, uh, over the Christmas rush, recorded uh, what we call 90th percentile wait times, but it's where 90% of people waited of less than three hours. Uh, you know, gone are the days in our hospital of six, seven, eight hour waits. Uh, Brampton Civic Hospital's wait time has come down by 33%, while our visits have gone up by 33%. So the community, our teams at the hospital, all of our physicians, all of our nurses, not only in the emergency department, but everywhere in the hospital is doing something right. We're working really hard. And the Glidoscope was a small example of uh, what your donations can bring us. And uh, I'm just glad to see that there are so many people here. What a great turnout. And please keep giving, as Dr. Slimy said, Charity is part of our religion, part of Islam, and keep giving to your community, keep giving to our hospital. And right now we are the busiest emergency department in Canada. We want to be the best emergency department in Canada, and we will get there with your help. Jazakallah. Thank you for your show of support to the efforts of Muslim friends of William Osla. <coughs> The Committee of Muslim Friends is composed of volunteers and was created to raise $1 million, as you heard, to finance purchase of equipment and other needs of the hospitals. To date, over half has been raised, and inshallah, with your support, we will meet the target. You will hear from uh, Matt Anderson, the CEO of William Osler, and uh, uh, regarding the services that they provide to the community, which is quite impressive, as you've heard also from Dr. Naveed. William Osler is the largest hospital network in Ontario. You will also note the presence of many doctors and healthcare professionals who are here tonight to show their support and appreciation. As we, as we all agree, our families need the availability of the skills and resources provided by the healthcare system in Canada. And we, want, and we want to ensure that that system is as modern as possible. William Mosler is one of the most up-to-date facility in Ontario, and we have the opportunity to keep it that way. On behalf of the committee, I ask for your generous support generous donations to fulfill the pledges that are on your desk, on your table. Please mark them for the friends of William Osler, and uh, it would be m much appreciated. They are, as you know, the donations will be tax deductible. The hospital has already recognized the efforts of uh, the Muslim friends and the contributions that, they, that has been made so far, with not only one, but two prominent signs recording this. Our children and grandchildren will see these signs, and hopefully, with your donations, your names will be on it. Before I finish, I would like to recognize Anne Randall. She is the CEO of the William Mosler Health and Systems Foundation at present. 
and is due to hand over to her successor next month. She's been a strong supporter of uh, the Muslim Friends. Anne, would you please come up? I ask that, uh, that you join me in wishing her a wonderful retirement. <laughs> Finally, I ask that you please, please remember, make the donations, and as Dr. Salimia said, it is uh, uh, the thing that Muslims do, and we want to be seen to be doing it. Thank you very much. I'm going to ask Matt Anderson, the president of the hospital, to join me. And we've got a few slides we're going to go through, talk about the hospital. And then I want to say another thank you to the Muslim friends of Osler and also another thank you for this beautiful gift. So I'll turn it to you, Matt, first, because that's the order of the slides. And I'll be back in a second. Great. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for inviting us here this evening uh, and for putting on this uh, wonderful, wonderful event for the hospital. It's truly very humbling to be here uh, and to hear all the wonderful things about our organization and how much it means to your community and all the sharing that you do with us. We just wanted to spend just a couple of minutes to talk a little bit about uh, the William Oser Health System. So first off, I just wanted to talk a little bit our, about the vision of what we're trying to achieve at the William Oser Health System. The William Oster Health System is trying to build a healthcare system that is driven by diversity that will impact at a global level. I think the words diversity and global don't need to be described to, this, to the people in this room this evening. You understand our community, you live in our communities, uh, and as has been talked about in the opening video, we reach out to Etobicoke, to Malton, to Brampton, but also as our organization grows, we get into the north, we move uh, and bring in people from the west, and indeed we are receiving referrals and people are coming from all over the province to come to one of our organizations. As well, our Etobicoke General Site uh, is the site that anybody who comes into the Toronto airport or anybody flying over uh, uh, our province, if they get ill, they are brought to the Etobicoke General Hospital, part of the William Oser Health System. So indeed our reach is far. Uh, and it's important for us to recognize all the people that we touch and the communities that we serve. When we talk about a system, there's a little slide up there for you. The main thing that we wanted to talk about was the notion that we can't do it alone. We have to work with our community providers, we have to work with our communities, and when you give to the Brampton Civic Hospital, not only are you helping for the patients who arrive at the Brampton Civic, but that's part of their journey. The Brampton Civic, oftentimes people are coming there either into our emergency rooms or into our operating rooms or onto our units or into our clinics, and this is just one stop on their journey in their health. Your donation to us as we work with those other community providers makes a difference for those folks all the way throughout their lives. And finally, just one more comment for me and then I think I'm going to turn it over to Anne. We're focused on a number of key elements within our hospitals. Uh, Dr. Muhammad talked about uh, our emergency room, and for sure people uh, most think about a hospital and its emergency room. But we have many, many programs that we offer within the William Oster Health System. Uh, you may have seen in one of the slides earlier uh, that we had uh, over 7,500 babies born at one of our hospitals. Uh, we are the busiest birthing center in all of the province. We're not exactly sure what's going on here in the northwest part of Toronto that where that's going on, that that's happening. It's apparently it's in the water. Uh, something is happening, but we're pleased that we're here to support you uh, through that. We also have uh, an important program in mental health and addictions. Unfortunately, in our community uh, and in communities around the world, we our uh, our populations are faced with challenges around mental health and addictions. One of our key focuses at the hospital is focusing on, focusing on people who are uh, young, who are struggling with some of these challenges, uh, and also with the elderly who are challenging, challenged with some of these uh, uh, issues. We recently opened up a psychogeriatric unit 
one of the finest in all of the country uh, here at the Brampton Civic Hospital serving the people of Brampton. The only other comment that I'd like to make about the services that we offer as well, uh, we do have a very big program around cardiovascular health, heart health, keeping us healthy. Uh, unfortunately, uh, in this part of the, the GTA, uh, we have a very high prevalence of diabetes uh, and a very high prevalence of cardiovascular disease. Our hospital and our professionals and our doctors and nurses are here to serve you uh, if you're struggling with any of those illnesses. We're also very pleased that with the support of the Ontario government, we've been opening up programs uh, to reach out into the community to get to people before they need to come into hospital and working with them on their diet and lifestyle to keep them healthy, keep them home, which is really, really where we'd like you to be. If you've ever asked Dr. Muhammad about what his great dream would be of, of his emergency room, it's one thing to be the best emergency room and to get it through, but if you ask him, it would be even better if we didn't need it. It's going to be a challenge to get there, probably not in our lifetime, I suspect, Dr. Muhammad, but we certainly want to keep working to try to improve the health of the population. I'm going to turn it over to Anne now to talk a little bit more specifically about the goals or the uh, impacts that your gifts are having. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Again, I would like to sp pay a special tribute to the Muslim Friends of William Ulcer for the work that they have done. First of all, setting a goal of raising a million dollars, which I think is, is phenomenal. And I'd like to share with you that as of today, the latest total is $636,000 towards that goal. And that doesn't count the money that's being raised tonight, so I think we're going to be getting closer to $700,000 very, very soon. I'd like to pay special tribute to Nilifer Mama, who is just over here on the left, who is a member of our William Moser Health System Foundation Board. And Nilifer has been a very, very important member of the Muslim Friends as well, along with Farouk and many others, some of whom are in this room. I remember the day that we sat down and decided that the group that was helping to raise money for the hospital needed a name, and the Muslim Friends of Osler was born. We've got a few pictures, uh, actually some of which were in the video you saw earlier that just represent the many events and activities that we've had over the last few years uh, to help raise these funds and to help raise awareness of the wonderful work that happens at the hospital. I'm so pleased that this evening happened tonight and not two weeks from now when I would be retired because it's really wonderful for me to uh, have this opportunity to say a special thanks to everyone for the work that you've done and to encourage you to keep at it because you're almost at that goal. So thank you everyone for being here tonight, the organizers and the sponsors, and all of you for your support of William Moser. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much.